Well, hey guys, welcome back in the garage. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at the Pro Tank Bag range from SW Motec. This is brand new for 2020. Um, it's a whole new uh, design of tank bag and mechanism of how they actually fit onto the bike. Now, if you are interested in what's changed and what's new, then check out the video in the top uh, corner here where I go into a bit more detail about how it's actually attached to the bike. So what we're going to be looking at today is the whole range of pro tank bags from SW Motec. Now I was planning to do this video in two parts to split it down half and half. So sort of the touring half and the sort of the day pack half. But you people are pretty keen to, uh, um, to find out about these bags and what they look like and how they're going to look on, uh, on, on the bike. So I'm going to try and do this in a one -er. Hopefully it's not too long winded. Um, so we're going to get each bag out. Um, get it over onto the KTM Super Duke GT, just to give you an idea of how, how these tank bags actually fit on the bike, which is best for you, which looks best, which fits best, to give you some idea of which bag to get. Now to save time and not to go into too much depth into each tank bag, as I get each tank bag in my hand, I'll put up on screen um, its sort of dimensions, how many liters it'll hold, etc. I'll get all that up onto the screen so I don't have to remember it, and just to save a bit of time. So we've got the range in front of us here. It's pretty much how many we've got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tank bags. Now this range is from um, small tank bags for just day trips, right up to the juggernaut up here for hardcore touring. So we've got from the left to right, we've got the micro day pack. We've got the daytime um, pack. We've got the engage, the sport, the city, the trial, and the juggernaut, which is the GS. Now we're gonna get each bag out and uh, take a bit of a look. So first off, we have the Micro Pro Tank bag. Now this is the smallest bag in their range. So basically sort you out with um, small camera, maybe you'll fit in there, your wallet, um, keys, and all that sort of small business that you don't want to have in your jacket pockets. This would be an ideal um, tank bag to take. So let's just fire that over onto the bike. There it is, new, new system, new attaching system and with the magnets that helps it glide into the mechanism and uh, holds it in place. Opens at uh, the top with a zipper and you can open it up to reveal your few pockets with inside. Now outside pockets on this one, it does have a cover pocket at the top and that is you. Comes with the rain cover. Now a lot of you have asked about um, water, water resistance or waterproofness on these. It does come with a fully waterproof rain cover which goes on the outside uh, to cover that up. But in my um, experience with uh, the Evo uh, tank bags, they do have a good level of water resistance as is. You wouldn't want to be out um, in constant rain showers with them but it will protect you um, enough for a small shower, um, eventually it'll start going through zips. But in my experience, it doesn't actually leak quickly through the outer shell, so that is good. So that was the Micro. Next up is the Day Pack, now slightly larger than the Micro, but similar sort of design and shape. Um, it attaches exactly the same way, straight onto the bike, opens at the top, as same way as the Micro did, same sort of um, lid. Uh, cover type design, waterproof um, rain cover inside that one. These will extend upwards, so you've got an outer zipper, or a zipper underneath and you can extend the volume um, upwards so you can fit a bit more in, but as I said, I will put the dimensions and liters and what, how much it will hold up on screen. Next up, we have the Engage Pro Tank Bag. Now, this was a personal favorite of mine um, on the Evo range um, for its shape and design, but it has come, it has been given a whole new shape on this um, particular tank bag, so we'll chuck that one on. Now, according to SW Motec's website, the Engage isn't compatible with the Super Duke GT. Now, that is something to bear in mind when you're negotiating through SW Motec's website. If you put in your particular uh, make and model of bike, it will come up with a big list of all the products that they provide for your particular bike. Now this particular tank bag has been deemed by SW Motec not to fit the Super Duke um, GT. I don't know exactly the criteria that they have or, or the guidelines that they run by which deems a tank bag um, unbefitting to a particular bike, but in my opinion, they've sent me them anyway, in my opinion, it does fit. Now it does, you do have a bit of a reach underneath um, to, to, to access your key, but from the shape and form of the tank bag, it, it forms well with the tank. So in my opinion, um, I, would, I would consider this for, for this particular bike. I mean, I would say it does fit well. So this one's slightly larger, again, opens at the top. Now people have asked if you can fit a DSLR in this particular one, you can amongst, um, amongst many other things and again this will extend upwards a bit higher to give you that bit more volume, but um, fits nonetheless. Now with those three tank bags in mind, that's your sort of I would say your day packs, 
um, just for short trips out. Going on to maybe a weekend trip, the Engage would sort you out enough, um, give you enough space to get all your belongings, whatever e extra bits and bobs you want to take with you. And most of it is cameras, a drone. I can fit my drone in there with its remote and my DSLR, so that is plenty of options. So that is a good weekend weekend tank bag. Going downwards to do sort of day trips where you're just putting in your wallet and small bits and bobs. Now, going along the range, this is now your sort of hardcore touring um, tank bags. Now, with this one, this is probably, this is the Sport. Now, this is the probably the one and only tank bag that I wasn't. I would say that doesn't fit this bike particularly well, because if you, if you take note of, hopefully you can see that on camera, the underneath of it, it's just a pretty, it's a flat um, tank bag. It doesn't have any um, contours. It doesn't come swooping down over the front to sort of accommodate um, tanks that drop off fairly smooth or fairly fairly abruptly. This one would be a, a, a ideal for a tank that's fairly flat as it is. It's a fairly shallow tank bag. Uh, it does have two outside pockets on this one, but as I said, it doesn't fit this bike particularly well, as I'll just demonstrate now. It does fit onto the bike, obviously, but it does hide my key. Um, getting getting to, to grips of that or finding the key would be a bit of a, a bit of a pain, and it does hang over um, slightly on the front of the tank. I've placed it, I've adjusted it into sort of the middle middle of the tank. If you have it too far back then it sticks further out here and if you have it too far forward it, it hides your, uh, your key or your ignition altogether. So in my opinion the Sport isn't um, a particularly good one to go for for the Super Duke GT. Needless to say if you do have a flattish tank this would be the one to go for. Now it's slightly shallower than the others, not as deep but again it will extend upwards and in this one, you've got some inside uh, pockets inside and two double outside pockets. So plenty of room nonetheless. Next up, we have the City, the Pro City. Now you can see on this one at the bottom here, this one's actually contoured into the shape of my tank fairly well. Now this was a personal favorite of mine with the Evo tank um, range. I used to take this on tours with me all the time. This was my personal favorite for touring. So stick that one on there. Again, a really nice design. I love the two big wide um, outer pockets. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. You can get a set of sunglasses in there, glasses, all kinds of stuff, whatever you want to put in them. Opens up at the top and this is a really deep tank bag. Again, another rain cover, many sort of different elastics and pockets with inside, so sort of slip in um, all kinds of bits and bobs. And this will then um, house uh, my drone fits in there, pro no problem at all. I can probably show you that while I'm here. So this will go right down into the front of the tank bag. You can still again get a DSLR in there and all kinds of other bits and bobs in there. So a great touring tank bag. As I said, personal favorite of mine for last year. So that was the Pro City. Next up we have the Pro Trial. Now it's a similar shape and design um, to the City tank bag. Did I say it's the Pro City? This is the Trial tank bag. Similar design to the City tank bag, slightly wider, bit more volume, slightly bigger and deeper. So you can get a lot more into this one, um, but a similar shape and size to the City tank bag. Very cool. Last up, we have the Juggernaut. This is the GS, the Pro GS tank bag. The biggest um, tank bag they do, and I actually used this last weekend um, when I went away on the bike and I got all kinds of stuff in here. Similar shape, now this one hangs much further over the, the front of the tank, but you could kind of lean up against it and I had a rear bag on and I was kind of sat in the bike, it was very, very comfortable. And uh, you can fit an amazing amount of kit in this. Now this goes all the way down to the front here. So I had, I had this full, I had drones in there, DSLRs, batteries, all kinds of power banks, sung, I had the works in here. And I filled it up right to the top and uh, you can really get a lot in this tank bag. So this would be the one to take for me if I was going away on a longer, a much longer journey, because um, if you are hindered or you don't like weight on the back of the bike, and um, not a lot of people do like that if the weight's too high up, or you've got big loads, big rear bags on the front of your, or on the rear of your bike. Some people like to take a bigger tank bag. You could happily get um, a weekend's worth of, you know, clothes and whatnot in this one if, if you really needed to. So um, definitely the one to go for if you're going away on a longer trip. Now with SW Motec coming up with this new design, it's slightly more ruggedized than the Evo um, tank range that they had previously. And with their new um, mechanism that attaches onto the bike, I'm gonna go out there and say this and probably, and to say that this is probably the best tank bag range on the market as yet. I'm really loving the design of them. They look absolutely fantastic. As I said, slightly more ruggedized than the previous um, range. 
Ruggedized um, lid, it's a kind of a hard lid on the top and you'll notice on this paneling that comes on every single tank bag, it's all the same on the top. Now this is, allows you to attach um, a waterproof phone case, a tablet case, a map case. I, unfortunately they weren't en able to send me them because they're, they're not in stock as yet, but basically you can attach um, a map case or a tablet case on the top, attaches at the back, clips down and, and under the front and clips into this um, little um, sort of ratchet at the front there so you can stick um, your maps, tablets and phone cases onto the top of this if you wish to. Again underneath it's all been ruggedized um, so it's a fairly sturdy case, they hold their shape really well um, and yeah as I said I think there's nothing better out there at the moment. YKK zippers all around, so very sturdy, very durable. Stitching is all great, all good, absolutely fantastic design. And as I said, this new mechanism is is a winner. It's a similar sort of design to the Evo um, Evo range uh, mechanism that they had before, but now they've incorporated some magnets into this system that glides it into place. It's still it's still a, um, a mechanism. The magnets just glide the tank bag in. It's, um, it's still held in place by the ring that attaches to your bike. It just makes it much easier, much quicker to attach it onto your bike without having to faff around. You just put it into position, the magnets glide it into place and it's locked in position. Well, there you go. That was the whole range of the Pro Tank Bags from SW Motec. There's nothing much more I can say about them. They are absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to be using these um, throughout the season, the remainder of this season and into next year. I'm going to be testing these um, thoroughly to give you my sort of personal feedback over a long term, um, a long term review. But I'm expecting nothing um, less than perfect from these Tank Bags. I've been a fan um, for many, many years. Um, even before we started working together, I used SW Motex um, gear from the start when I first started riding. So hopefully that has been of interest to you. If I have missed anything that you wish to know, then throw your comments down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and click that bell icon next to the subscribe button to make sure you're notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss anything. I do all kinds of videos on this channel from product reviews, touring videos, track days, all kinds of stuff. It's all happening on this channel and I post a video every single week. Massive thank you again to you guys over on the Patreon page who support the channel. If that's something you're interested in doing, then links are in the description below. Any support is greatly appreciated in my quest to get out on the road to produce better quality content, more frequent content, for your viewing pleasure. So that is it from me this week. Be sure to leave me a like, leave your comments and queries down below. It does really help the channel grow. All your interaction does help with that. And plus I love talking about these sorts of things with you guys in the comment section below. So that is it from me. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Well, hey guys, welcome back in the garrison. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the full range of the EvoTech Pro, EvoTech Pro, they're not EvoTech Pro. Well, hey guys, welcome back in the garage. I don't even know if I'm on the right audio settings here. Professional me, absolutely professional. Well, hey guys, welcome back in the garage. Now today we're gonna to be taking a look at the sweet Any help is greatly appreciated in my quest to get out there and produce better content. Better content? I can't speak at all. You know what a palaver that was.